Ladies and gentlemen, children of the interwebs out there, Sebastian and the strong style cinema file. So we know that Giancarlo Esposito is in Captain America Brave New World, which was at one point, I believe, New World Order. So it's gone through some changes and some reshoots and some retooling and ugh, I'm kind of wondering what the final product is going to be. But we have had shots of Giancarlo Esposito on set. Let's geek about that for a scant few minutes because we've seen where he had announced himself at a recent event that he was in the MCU and going to play a character in it. We had seen previously where he had said he would love to play Charles Xavier in the MCU, except he didn't want to be in a wheelchair. Some people are saying he could be like Magneto. I'm one of those people that's like, I don't get too been out of shape about race swapping certain characters but there's some that there um that just don't need to be swapped um sort of like a like a tier one of characters that don't need to be swapped you're peter parker you're steve rogers um tony stark black panther you know like those are sometimes that just need to stay who they are magneto for me because of the whole like um, Holocaust connection, stuff like that. All. I mean, you could take a black Magneto and tie in maybe the civil rights movement and maybe some of the stuff that was going on back then and then make him into a Magneto figure, but I don't know. Just doesn't, uh, doesn't work too, too well for me. And then I'd seen some scuttlebutt where there's maybe, you know, SBC could be playing Doctor Doom. And I'm like, no, again, that's like one of those tier one characters because... Dr. Doom's like an Eastern European guy. Like, doesn't exactly fit with the amount of melanin that Esposito has. And then we saw set pictures where he's like in some tactical-ish looking stuff. We see knives on him. And it, the speculation now is like, is he going to be um, William Stryker, Bolivar Trask, um, Jack Fury, perhaps, or Henry Peter Gyrick? And there's all sorts of rumors around this film. Is it going to be the film that kind of introduces some aspect of mutancy into it? It's going to be one that introduces adamantium into it. Um, if it's mutant related, then I'm thinking more along the lines of Stryker or Trask. Um, but he looks like, see, he's got knives on him. For me, Stryker, um, Trask, um, well, maybe not. Well, Trask and Gyrick don't seem to be hands-on kind of guys. So I don't think he's that. Of course, we have the black version of Fury in the MCU. So I could see him being Jack Fury, who's a crazy brother to Nick Fury. But I don't think Sam Jackson is in this movie. So again, it's like having him in it without Nick would be kind of weird. But of course, this movie has the leader as a primary villain. when the leader is more of a Hulk guy, not... A Falcon guy or a Falcon version of Captain America guy. We know the Serpent Society is in it as well. To what extent all these guys are in it <laughs> remains to be seen. Plus again, we're getting this retooling, reshooting, which movies go through reshoots all the time. We know this. Um, that doesn't, you know, cast some sort of shadow upon the quality of the film to have reshoots. They do that all the time. But to add like a add in a baddie and a baddie storyline in these reshoots. I'm kind of wondering how the stuff's going to shake out. And then again, who is Esposito going to be? I think he's going to rock whoever he is, make no mistake. But it's just, who is he going to be, is the question. And, I mean, speculation is running wild and rapid. We don't have really anything to kind of go on to tell us. Again, I think Deadpool and Wolverine is the movie that is going to give us a hint of the direction of mutants and their presence in the MCU and how they're going to go about it. So until the credits roll, until on that film, and then we get through whatever bonus, you know, post-credit scene that they have, if they have one, um, that will give us kind of where we're going to go. And then perhaps um, these reshoots are to kind of coincide with whatever direction we're going to go with mutants, or who knows. Um, it's good to see him part of the cast. I know he's going to kill it, like I said, but it's just kind of wondering who he's going to be, and again, is he just being shoehorned in this movie that has just been retooled and reshot and just reworked so many times to where it's just he's going to suffer for it in the end. Remains to be seen. We'll find out together. I mean, we know that Marvel realizes the last few movies and 
projects, be it TV or movies, have been bombs. So we know they're looking to course correct and kind of fix things and kind of get back to the the uh, Infinity Saga-like highs um, instead of like the Multiverse Saga mids to lows. So I don't know. We'll all find out together if they learned to, to do better. I don't know. But anyway, those are my thoughts on it. Scattered as they often are. What do you guys out there think? Let me know in the comments below. Follow me on social media. Talk to me there. Talk to me here. Until next time, of course, and always let us geek.